Hello, my first graders. Today we are going to do our clay project. Now for our clay project in kindergarten, we made a baby bird, right? With a little nest, if you remember that. That was really fun, I think. Um, so in first grade, we make a turtle. And I am telling you, it's gonna be just as fun as when you made your baby bird, okay? So if you went to school, you got a piece of clay. Now this piece of clay is very special because I could put it in a kiln, which is a special oven, and then it turns into ceramic. So it turns into something really hard, like a coffee mug, okay? It's exactly the same thing as this. Um, if you, let's say, um, you don't wanna go to school to pick it up, you can still do this project like with Play-Doh or look up a recipe for salt uh, dough and uh, bake it in the oven, okay? That would work too. Now, if you wanted to do this, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, okay? Um, with your piece of clay that you got, I want you to split it in half, okay? Half of it, you're going to roll it into a ball now, don't roll it too long or else it's going to dry out, okay? See? It's already ready. That was easy. And you're going to put it inside your palm of your hand because we're going to make the shell of our turtle, okay? So we're going to make a pinch pot. So I'm going to take my little thumb and I'm going to push it inside all the way in, okay? See? It's stuck to my thumb. That means I did a good job. I'm going to take my little fingers and I'm going to pinch it. Now look at this, okay? I made it a little bit bigger. It starts cracking a little bit, it's okay. We could kind of smooth it out after. Now I want you to put your thumb back inside and see how this side here is where I pinch and it's much thinner and this part right here is a little thicker. So go ahead and go back and pinch that part. Okay, so I want you to take your thumbs and pinch around and make it, and look, see right here, it's cracking. I'm gonna just like smooth it back in together, okay? I smoothed the inside, works usually a little bit better, and then do the outside after, okay? Now, if it cracks too much, you could always add a little tiny bit of water, okay? Don't put too much or else it becomes mud, right? And we're gonna bring it back to slip and we don't need slip today. Okay, so I have my shell for my turtle, which is called a care pass, by the way. I'm going to just set it aside for a second, and now I'm gonna decide, what do I wanna make? Do I wanna make a sea turtle or do I wanna make a land turtle? That's gonna be your decision, okay? So with the rest of your clay, get a piece off, roll in your hand, and that's gonna be your head. That was easy. So now I'm ready to attach it. Wait a minute, uh, it's not sticking. Why isn't it not sticking? Do you remember? Hmm. I have to scratch and attach. Do you remember that? The real words is score, score and slip. But I always say scratch and attach because somehow it's just kind of like we remember better. So I'm gonna take my little head, I'm gonna scratch, scratch, scratch. And I, you can scratch with like a paper clip that you open up. You can scratch with a toothpick. I have like an embroidery needle that's not too sharp, so I could use that too. I'm gonna do the same thing on my shell, okay? Scratch, scratch, scratch. And then I'm going to put a little bit of water, okay? Just a little bit of water. Look, I have a little container with water. Put your finger inside. That's all you need, just a little bit of water. Because now this came back to being, let's see if it's gonna focus, to kind of being slip right there in that spot, okay? I'm gonna take my little head and I'm gonna push it on. So you always wanna kind of push it, okay? So press, not too hard, because or else you're gonna smoosh your head. And then right here on the inside, you can smooth it in, okay? So smooth in this part. That way you make sure it does not fall off, okay? Look at that, it's pretty good. Look, it's not falling. See, it's perfect for our clay. Okay, now I'm going to make my legs. If let's say you want your legs to be like a sea turtle, you're going to take a piece of clay, roll it in your hand so it's a little ball, okay? and then roll it up and down so you're making more like a little um like a little sausage or a little snake and once you have this little cylinder you're going to smush it smush 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 just like that perfect now one side for the fin of the turtle needs to be a little bit more pointy so just smush it with your hand look 
I folded it over. It's perfect like this. Okay, now I'm going to attach this to my turtle, but what do I have to do to attach it? Do you remember? I've got to scratch and attach, right? Score and slip. So I'm gonna take my little fin. I'm going to scratch, 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 scratch. Do the same thing on my little turtle. And you could do it where it goes on the inside, okay, or on top. It's up to you. Now, if you do on top, don't do it too high. Do it right there at the edge. So I'm going to scratch, scratch, scratch. And then I'm going to put some water. There we go. Put some water on. See? And I'm ready to put my fin. So I'm going to attach my fin. I'm going to push it down. So I can see, look at that. That's perfect, right? Cute little turtle. Okay, if let's say you're like, nope, I wanna do a land turtle instead. Okay, that's fine. Land turtle is going to be like this. And take your little piece of clay, roll in your hand, make a cylinder, right? Right now it's a sphere. We're gonna make a cylinder. So we're gonna roll it up and down. And that gives you a cylinder. Now that one's kind of big, so I'm gonna cut it in half. There we go, much better. And I'm going to attach it. Now, if it's a land turtle, you would need four of these, okay? For four legs, you would do one, two, three, four. Now for a sea turtle, I need two of these, okay? So I'm going to attach these two together. How do I attach? Do you remember? Scratch and attach. So I'm going to scratch, scratch, scratch and do the same thing on this side scratch 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 if you would like to have don't forget to do your water if you don't do your water guys i'm telling you it's gonna fall as soon as it starts drying it's gonna fall and it's not gonna be good because you're gonna be very disappointed because we can't put it back in all right back on sorry okay so here we go there's the beginning of my turtle now what i would like you to do is do the other side as well if you'd like a little tail do a tail Put some patterns on your back of your uh, turtle shell. You could use pencils. You could use um, a toothpick. You could use a marker cap, okay? And just do small indentations. So that means indentations mean you're pressing down, okay? So for example, let's say I decide to use my little needle. I could just push down like this and create a little pattern as I go. You could decide to do that with marker caps. You could decide to do that with a pencil, but create a pattern for your shell. Now for your head, you got to put some, some eyes on there, right? So do the same thing. The best way that I think is by using either a marker cap or a pencil, okay? So do that for your eyes. Right now I've got my needle, so I'm going to show you with that. So I'm going to put it in and I'm swirling around. So I make my eye bigger. You see that? Yep. Do the same thing on the other side, like that. Okay, and then a turtle has two little nostrils. So do two little dot, Ta -da! And for the mouth, it's, this is super easy. If you have a toothpick or a little needle like I do, okay, put your needle right here. Ooh, let me put it, it's hard to see on camera. And push it in. And look at that, you have a perfect mouth. Okay, now a lot of people sometimes by accident because they see their turtle this way, they want to put their mouth on top here. But remember, our turtle is going like this in the ocean, right? Or on land. So if it's going like this, it's eating from the bottom, right? Not from the top. It has to go from the bottom. So just remember that. Okay, this is it for today. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. When you are all done with your turtle, bring it back to school so I could fire it. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the kiln for you so it could be nice and hard. And then the following week, you're going to get it back and you're going to get it back with some glaze. It's a special kind of paint for our turtle and you're going to glaze it so it's going to be nice and shiny and beautiful. And I'll put it back in the kiln and then you're going to get it fired and then you're going to get it right on time before Christmas break. Okay, so you get your own little present for Christmas. I think that um, you guys should have a lot of fun with this. I will see you in two weeks. Have a good one.